Increasing use of AI is looming across many industries, and big impacts are already here. Decisions have to be made about how best to incorporate AI and the inevitable trade-offs. The amount of output and the amount of relevant, very pertinent output, does it have any negative implications or any implications, positive or negative, uh, on the agency's staffing? Look, the, the, the impact of technology in any knowledge work, um, and this has been the case for, for decades now, is that every time that you bring technology into knowledge work that automates mundane tasks, it pushes people to become you know, more intelligent and to, to apply their minds to higher order problems. And so having someone sit in Photoshop all day and create 13,000 variants of a particular ad manually, you know, one by one, is not really a very stimulating task, right? And so these kind of automations are built so that you, you free people up from doing menial work and really think about the design or to think about the messaging or to do more research about the consumer audience or to aestheticize the, the product shots better, right? So there's, the, it, it shifts work, you know? And I think this is the key thing. I, I'm, I really don't believe that AI destroys jobs. I think AI shifts tasks. Right? So AI means that you have to work differently and people de do need to learn new tools and new technologies. Um, but I, I, think it's a, I think it's a net positive, right? I mean, people are not meant to be assembly workers. And a lot of what we, we've done in the past in, in digital you know, kind of production work is really kind of just you know, quite menial assembly type work.